Simple Interest, Part 3. Hi, I'm Daniel D'Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 3 on the lecture on Simple Interest. Here's the first problem. Problem 1. Rina took a loan of Rs 1,200 with simple interest for as many years as the rate of interest. If she paid Rs 432 as interest at the end of the loan period, what was the rate of interest? Alright, now for the first sum they've said that Rina takes a loan of Rs 1,200 at a rate of interest that is equal to the time period for which she's taking the loan. And the interest that she has to pay the bank at the end is Rs 432. Now, uh, the simple interest formula will work as well for the loan formula. It's the same thing, right? So now your SI we know is equal to PTR upon 100, right? Now they've given you the simple interest as 432 and uh, the principal is 1200, right? Now T and R is the same. So I've assigned it as some variable X. Now, so T into R will be X squared. So X squared and divided by 100. Now you know that the answer that comes should be a perfect square or your answer is going wrong. So now let's just see if we get it. 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So now x square is equal to 432 divided by 12, right? 2 6 za, 2 2 za, 16, 1 za, this will be 36 implies x is equal to root 36 equals 6 implies the rate of interest is equal to 6%. Easy? Let's go on to the second problem. Problem 2. The simple interest at x% percent for x years will be rupees x on a sum of? Alright, now for the second sum, you just need to know what they've given you and what they've asked you. So now, they've said that si at x% percent for x number of years will be rupees x on what? So now, is this the old money or is new money or simple interest? What is it? So now, what you do is, just cover this part. Right? So now you see, si will be rupees x on. So this is the simple interest. This will be the simple interest on what principal amount if it is put in at x percent that's your rate of interest and for x years so they've given you basically that si is equal to rupees x time is equal to x years and rate is equal to x percent now we know the formula si is equal to ptr divided by 100 now we need to find the principal so P will be equal to 100 into SI divided by T into R. Now we know SI is X, T is X and R is X. So it will be 100 X divided by X into X. One X gets cancelled, implies your P is equal to 100 divided by X. This is your answer. Alright, let's go on to problem number 3. Problem 3. A person takes a loan of Rs 200 at 5% simple interest. He returns 100 rupees at the end of one year. In order to clear his dues at the end of two years, how much should he have to pay? Alright, now for problem number 3, we know that a man takes a loan of Rs 200 at 5% interest. Alright, simple interest. Now, they have said that after, first, after the first year, he pays Rs 100 back to the bank. And they ask you, what is the amount to be paid in dues, that is what is left, if he wants to clear everything, at the end of two years. Now, what we do is, first you find how much he has to pay at the end of one year. Now, 5%, that means you can easily just say that um, that it will be 5% of 200 rupees, right? So what is 10% of 220? So 5% will be 10. So at the end of first year, he needs to pay the bank 210 rupees. Needs to be paid. To be paid. All right. Now, what happens is, at the end of one year, he pays the bank 100 rupees. He can't pay 210. He pays only 100 rupees. So minus 100. This is his account balance. What is left there. So now only he has to pay 110 rupees. Right? Now I'm not using any formula. I'm just trying to do it orally. So it gets faster in competitive exams. Now he has to pay only 110 rupees at the end of one year. Now they're saying at the end of two years, what is the amount that needs to be paid to clear all his debts? Now this at the end of two years, this will be taken as your principal amount. So 5% of this. So what is 10% of this? 11. What is half of 11? 5.5. Right? So this will be the interest that will be added on to this principle. So you will add 5.5. So this will be 115.5. So at the end of two years, he needs to pay 115 rupees and 50 paise to clear it. To clear his 
deaths. Easy? All right. Let's move on to problem number four. Problem four. What is the rate at which a sum becomes four times of itself in 15 years at simple interest? All right. For the fourth sum, they've asked that at what rate, right, R is equal to what, will an amount of money, right, your principal, P, will become four times itself. So your old money is P and your new money will be four times itself. So 4P, right? So from this, to go to this, right? In 15 years, what should be your rate of interest? That's all. Now, what we know is new money is equal to old money plus SI, right? But we know new money is actually equal to four times old money, right? Or we can say four times the principal, that's the old money itself, is equal to principal plus SI. Now, SI implies will be 4P minus P. So it's equal to 3P. So this is what you need to conclude. SI is equal to three times the principal. Right? Now, what we do is we plug it in in the simple interest formula. So now SI is equal to PTR divided by 100. But we know SI is 3P. So 3P is equal to PTR divided by 100. 1P gets cancelled, 1P gets cancelled. What is T? 15, right? So 3 is equal to 15 into R divided by 100. Implies R is equal to 3 into 100 divided by 15. 3 ones are, 3 fives are, 5 ones are, 5 twenty are. Implies your rate of interest should have been 20%. If you want your money to become four times its worth in 15 years. All right, so this is part three on lecture on simple interest. If you found this video helpful, do like it and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'd also appreciate it if you told your friends about this and spread the knowledge. Cheers. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notification of any videos that I release. I make new videos every Thursday. Until then, spread the knowledge.